When mating in an assembly, we may have a requirement to mate multiple components to one common reference. In this case here, we can see all these components actually want to be mated to this cylindrical bore. So what we can do is we can use the multiple mate mode that's within our mate dialog box. If I click on our mate dialog box, you can see here we have our uh, multiple mate mode. And if I select this, we have a number of options. First one is our common reference which is our cylindrical bore, and the second box is all the actual components themselves. I want, also want to make note of this uh, create multiple mate folder, which will gather all these mates in one manageable area. So if we just go along and select all our particular components, and we can select all the cylindrical faces, and once that's been done, we can just accept the mate, and we'll accept our box. We can now position these as we wish to, just by moving them out and adding any, uh, you know, secondary mates that we may need to position these. But, uh, but what you'll notice is that in our mate folder, if we expand on this, you'll see our multiple mates is actually listed. All these mates are now listed within this multiple mate folder. And if we right click, we can just edit this feature. And it just very easily allows us to modify this, maybe want to move this particular face and actually drop it on this face here. But it just makes it very easy to access and manipulate.